AMC and GameStop stock, where are they going to be heading to in the near future? Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I want to get into AMC and GameStop, but also a few other assets such as Dogecoin, Nokia, Blackberry, and Qualcomm that have been getting talked about today in the market, and where they can be trending to as well. Let me know in the comments section if you do like kind of these market update videos and kind of longer time frame videos. And let's get into it. And looking at GameStop stock, we did have a decent update, seeing that GameStop did tap into Amazon Web Services executive Matt Francis to appoint them as their new chief technology officer. So we see that the video game retailer GameStop appointed Amazon Web Services engineering lead Matt Francis as its chief technology officer. This is going to be very interesting because the company did rise around 19% yesterday to 106, but did pull back and we are lower on the open today. And we also see that Francis is joining GameStop on February 15th and will be responsible for overseeing their e-commerce and technology functions. Maybe this will be able to adapt GameStop into this kind of new market that we're seeing, of course, where e-commerce is a main focus for many companies, and that's how many companies do expand eventually, right? So let's take a look at also what AMC is doing, and we also see an update on AMC, where Dave Porney stakes around $700,000 on AMC again after exiting all his meme stocks. He said that on Tuesday, he did get out of a lot of his positions, but again, he put $700,000 into AMC on the morning of Wednesday, and he's already up $60,000 on his investment. We also see that he invested a few shares into Nokia and Naked Brand Group, and when he was asked if he would exit the stocks, he said that it's all feel, and he thinks it could have another run. So that's an interesting thing as well to note that these people are still talking about it in the media. Maybe the media sentiment isn't completely over around these stocks. I do think they are very risky. So just be careful when investing a lot into these stocks. Again, these are kind of these uh, heavily shorted stocks, but we did get data a few days ago that again, GameStop stock did have its overall short position decrease from 140% to around 39%. So it is harder to get that compiling effect. Now, let's head into the stock charts to see kind of what's going on with GameStop, right? Well, GameStop stock on the daily chart is currently pulling back. We were calling for this pullback because it was very bearish. And of course, Robinhood did stop the trading of GameStop, causing it to kind of, again, fizzle out and only allowing people to sell their shares. So again, we did say that there is a lot of SEC um, investigation going into these stocks and many lawsuits have been launched. Watch out for that. Understand that GameStop stock is highly speculative at this point. We are currently down around 17% on the day to around the $76 mark. And I wouldn't be surprised if we did trend lower if many more people are taking profits. And we also did label that if Deep Value does sell his shares also, that is going to cause a rift in the Wall Street Bets community, potentially for many other investors to take profit. And of course, we can't blame him for that because at the top, he was up around $48 million. So right now it's pulled back severely. He has lost a decent amount of his position, but he also cashed in a decent amount of profits. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on that story. And looking at this chart, we are around the 50 exponential daily moving average, potentially coming into some decent support which we can see the stock kind of trade sideways for a little bit but again it is very risky with these stocks and we don't know if many investors are still going to be behind the movement and heading on to the monthly chart just to get a clearer picture because we haven't seen gamestop trade in these areas for a while well we see that gamestop at around 2007 2008 trended all the way to this area got heavily rejected again in 2013 got heavily rejected by this previous long-term resistance point and we did see this huge capitulation much lower now we do know that previous resistance likes to turn into new support and what do we see on gamestop stock well we are trending back to this area after we completely exploded off of it due to the wall street bets community rallying behind it so if we were to look at this area over here on the chart that is around of course the 62 to 58 dollar region and if we go back to the weekly chart what do we notice we're near that area again and we see that the 20 exponential weekly moving average is also creeping into that area as well so if there was an area of support where many investors would come back into the stock and prop it back up it would be in this region so if we don't get supported by these previous levels and we start closing under this area on the stock chart that can be much more bearish and we might trend back to again the 20 to 30 dollar region where we might find some support from this weekly moving average but please be aware that this level is highly speculative and it can be very tricky if we do take a trade on this region guys we can potentially risk around let's say 10% on our trade, maybe even a little bit more, depending on how long you guys want to hold it and how big of a position you guys are trading with on your stock portfolio. So if you did take around, let's say a 10 to maybe even a 25%, depending on how big your position is, that can of course maybe propel the stock higher in these regions if many investors do pop back into the stock and we might get around a 100% gain. 
So we don't know. We might even trend much higher. But again, please be aware that GameStop is very speculative at these levels. And we might not be able to bounce back if many investors don't pop in and prop up the stock. Now, heading into AMC stock, this was the level that I was calling for you guys where we could potentially see another support region and a potential dip buy. And we did see just that, right? Many investors came in and bought up the stock at these levels at around the $6 mark. And that's because this was the previous huge rejection level at around September 2020 before we did capitulate much further on kind of these bankruptcy fears. We didn't know how AMC theaters would react with this continuation of their theaters being closed. And you do see that the 20 exponential daily moving average was in this region as well. So that's why we label that area as a huge support level. So if we do have a double test back into this region, we might be able to get supported again. Now this level over here is again an 8% price range where we can retest back into and maybe we can potentially have another 30% pump as we had in these areas as well. Remember, we also have this big gap over here that can potentially be filled if many more people do buy into the stock and we do see kind of this short compiling effect. Now let's head to the weekly chart to get a clearer picture as well. And looking at the weekly chart, again, we do see that we are far away from the 20 exponential weekly and 50 exponential weekly moving averages, but that might catch up soon to these levels if we do keep trading at these high regions. So again, this was the level at around August of 2020, September of 2020, where we did get heavily rejected by these moving averages, trended much lower. So keep an eye out again for these regions. If we do break in close under these levels, that is going to be more bearish. And I do think we can retest back to these regions where we can potentially ladder in some buys to maybe trend back to these regions over here. But again, I do think that this level is kind of the last region of support for this trade before maybe potentially testing lower. So keep an eye out for this region. I do think that this can offer a decent risk to reward scenario because this is really only, like we said before, an 8 to 10% region. And we might be able to test it back to the 200 exponential and simple moving averages, offering a 5 to 1 reward to risk ratio. It is currently looking more bearish, but on the daily chart and in the shorter term timeframes, we might be able to get a decent bounce play in. Now let's head into Nokia stock. And getting into Nokia stock chart, guys, we did say that if we started closing under this region, that would be more bearish for the stock and i did say we would test back to the 20 exponential or 50 exponential daily moving averages and we're currently seeing that now again nokia as we've said many times before on these videos is a longer term 5g play and it is a much more fundamentally strong stock than these other stocks that the wall street best community is rallying behind so nokia is the safest among all these stocks because it is a much higher market cap stock so it's going to be harder for it to lose more value on the company and because we did see it recently sign a contract with NASA as well. So heading into the weekly chart, we do see that, of course, we got heavily rejected by this region as well because this was a previous huge rejection point twice, right? And we did trend much further. So again, getting rejected by the 200 simple and exponential weekly moving average is pretty bearish. But again, I do think that if we do dip into these regions at around the $4 mark, that is going to offer a nice risk to reward scenario because we would be risking potentially around let's say seven to eight percent on this trade but if we do test back just to the rejection level that is a 20 percent gain so that would be around a two to three to one reward to risk scenario and if again more people rally into the stock it can pump the stock much higher and maybe we can reach the kind of 10 to 15 dollar region which we did trend to on this huge wick but got rejected at now let's head into blackberry and guys this was a heavily requested stock in the comment section so please let me know in the comment sections what stocks you would want me to look at in these videos where we do elaborate further on stocks it really helps out the channel by engaging in the comment section and it would also let me know what you guys are interested in as well and looking at blackberry stock we do see that it is very bearish and i do think that at these levels at around the ten dollar mark we can potentially see a decent amount of support because we have this previous huge rejection level over here on the stock i'll show you you guys a clearer picture on the weekly chart but we also have the 50 exponential daily moving averages heading into these regions again it can be a decent level of support but we don't know how the wall street bets community is going to react around it if you're willing to take the trade on it does offer a decent reward to risk scenario because if we do risk around eight to ten percent on our portfolio we can't potentially trend much higher in the stock to retest the recent highs even if we go halfway up that's around the 48 to 50 percent gain that's what we always have to look at in these stocks right guys we want to look at the reward to risk scenarios and heading into the weekly chart we do see of course that this is the key level that we have to be looking at because after we capitulated heavily on this region in january 2018 we kind of bounced once 
twice, and a third time before getting heavily rejected, trending much lower, bouncing back up to this region. And again, what do we know, guys? That previous support likes to turn into new resistance. And we trended much lower after hitting the 50 and 20 exponential weekly moving averages. So again, this is going to be the key level because look, even during this rise up, this is where we got heavily rejected again trended much lower back to the $6 mark after testing to the $10 region. And we did break out on the stock once we broke through this level and trended much higher. I do think that if BlackBerry is able to trade at these levels for a few weeks, and we see the 20 exponential weekly moving average trend to these regions, it can act as a nice support region to potentially take a trade and get a short-term bounce play off. Now let's head into Dogecoin. And heading into Dogecoin, guys, it's kind of similar to what we were seeing on Bitcoin, right? Once we broke our all-time highs, which for Dogecoin was around kind of the two cent mark, we did trend much higher in the token. We do see that we reached kind of the current state at around the eight cents mark. But again, this was because Elon Musk and many more celebrities were tweeting about the stock recently also. So we do see that today it is up 40%. I would use extreme caution if you're looking to get into the stock now. It is highly speculative. Now that doesn't mean that Dogecoin can't trend higher. It's just that as a cryptocurrency, it's kind of viewed as a meme coin. So it's not coincidental that we do see kind of these traders that are kind of looking for trades for memes, let's say in GameStop, AMC, or kind of these other heavily shorted and pumped stocks are looking also towards Dogecoin as a trade. We do know that it did have a huge pump as well after the TikTok community did release some videos claiming that it can go to $1 uh, a coin. But just be careful when investing in this specific asset. I do think it's highly speculative. And if I were looking to trade it, I would really be looking at the daily chart right now. We are more bullish, of course. I do think this is a pretty bullish posture. If we do close the day in this region, I do think we can trend higher, but we aren't anywhere near the 20 or 50 exponential daily moving averages. So please be aware that this cryptocurrency is very risky currently. It can trend higher, but I wouldn't put a huge portion of my portfolio into this specific currency that is considered a meme by many investors. So now let's head into Qualcomm. And looking at Qualcomm stock, guys, it did release earnings today. Um, it was kind of a mixed feeling on their earnings call, and we did see the stock is currently down 10%. And I want to note to you guys that when we do see these huge earnings pullbacks, it can represent a decent buying opportunity, right? Because many people sell the stock off after these bad earnings, but again, we do see many investors buy these dips and trend the stock higher. That doesn't mean, though, that it can't trend lower. It can trend lower. But currently, we are testing an interesting level of support. And as you guys see here, the earnings did pop and create this huge gap. Heading into the weekly chart, it does create a much clearer picture. And if we look at the weekly chart, we are near the 20 exponential weekly moving averages. Now, I want to note that this is a pretty bearish candle. But on the short term, if you want to make a trade heading into Friday or potentially over the next few days, it can potentially offer a decent reward if we do risk around 4 to 5% on this trade. If we do trend to the near all-time highs, that is around the 14 to 15% gain. Qualcomm is a heavily supported 5G company, so it will be interesting to see if investors do buy back into this company. And I do think that this is a pretty bearish candle. And if you do hold it into the weekend, understand that it can be a risky play because we do have a huge gap that can potentially be filled on Monday. So watch out for these regions on the stock. I do think this level can act as a decent support region. But again, we are approaching the weekend and that can potentially be a reason investors do take profits for fear of market volatility heading into Monday. So guys, leave a comment down below if you enjoy these types of longer videos where we get into many stocks. Also, let me know if you're buying any of these stocks and please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel a lot. Thank you guys for watching and have a great one.